Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition on our DC Colony. Alright, <clears throat> so, uh, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, we're going to finish this, <laughs> because we need some plastic before we can really move and do anything else. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and get some additional glass going. <clears throat> We'll do another 20. Uh, that is turned on. That is turned off. That is turned on. Okay, we're just checking some things. <clears throat> How many 20 cycles before you come alive? Okay, that's fine. Um, let me see. We can go ahead and deconstruct that one. Deconstruct that one. <clears throat> dig that and dig that. All right. Cool. Um, oh, it's night time. Okay. I was going to say, what's up here? Looks like we got some nice liquid carbon dioxide keeping our batteries cold. <laughs> Not that we're generating enough power to do anything with this, but, you know, it's there. We see you guys have almost finished that. That is, that's good. Uh, that means we'll be able to start planning out <clears throat> our rocket platforms. Um... Trying to remember. Overheat temperatures to okay. So we should be able to do it just like this. Our first one's gonna go right there. <clears throat> we'll just put one there. <clears throat> we have um, stuff to do, including we'll need to put in a pipe eventually. For water because we'll need water in our rocket so we might as well <clears throat> lay that out there we go all right so uh, we'll go oh whoops um, I just noticed that <laughs> Silly me. We built it in the wrong spot. Boop. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so we'll get that going. Um, and then, of course, we're working on this over here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this <clears throat> construction. <clears throat> we'll start building up. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go to Smirone and see how we're doing over here. Obviously, we're not building any of this yet. We know why, because we don't have the people over here, and that's fine. Okay, good. We'll let you dig the other one, and then we'll mark that one. Aha! Okay. <clears throat> see, you're going down there, then you're probably going to dig down here next. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, we can do that one. <clears throat> We're still controlling our heat over here, so we won't get in a big hurry yet. Um, <clears throat> but we do want to start, you know, slowly, you know, coming through stuff, so. Okay, you're just breathing. That's good. Mainly, we're just digging out right now. Uh, we're going to have to bring over someone later on. Um, how hot is it over here? It's 85, so you guys will... You'll cook a little bit. I mean, if we take it really slow, and we only do a couple little digs in places, then, you know, we'll be okay. Meaning that we won't um, overheat our dupes, is what I'm trying to say. Which we don't want to do. Actually, you guys have a lot to dig out so i mean there's no reason for me to <clears throat> totally be like oh i need to tag lots of digging um no you guys you guys have plenty to do um how's your food 23 we're fine i know oxygen's gonna be fine the only place that lacks is you know down here so <clears throat> 
which we'll eventually get to. Um, let me see. So if we're going to build this out eventually, uh, we would go like this. Do, do, do. Like that. Um, actually, that's going to be a little bit different. Uh, cancel, because it is going to be a window tile made out of diamond, which will go through here. Okay, so I need to go one more up. I didn't go far enough. There we go. And if we do that, that will give us our... <coughs> Excuse me, lock. In fact, we can go ahead and build the top of it without hitting... Without touching this. And just in case, we'll do that. So that... Alright. <clears throat> and then, of course, we'll have to decide where we want to build our cooling system. Now, we're going to use the cooling system for this and this. Um, so we'll probably just stick it somewhere in between. Uh, and we're not going to build this right now. This is not, like, we don't need it instantly right now. But I think we'll be able to put it, like, right here. Um, yeah, we'll only need one to loop through. <clears throat> so will we even need... Two. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll... It's just one, right? We, we won't... <clears throat> Yeah, we won't need more than more than one. Okay. So this is this would be two high, and then these would be three high. So one, two. Okay, we'll we'll adjust it here in a minute. It'd be like that. There we go. And that'll go like that. All right, cool. So we'll we'll start with that. Um, that'll get us going to accomplish some good stuff. Um, actually, we want to move it over one more. I just realized something. And the reason is is because we're gonna want at least temporarily a way to get into there. Meaning that we need a a liquid lock, basically, is what, what I'm saying. That is what I am trying to say. <clears throat> so if we, there's, yeah, that'll work. Okay, that'll give us liquid lock here, liquid lock here. We're fine. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, well, we'll let you guys work on that. Um, and then leave you alone. There's nothing else really to do over here. Um, you know, that's like, hey, we gotta do it right now. No, that one step at a time, and we're fine. Okay, let's come back over here. Did we finish our transportation system? We did. Alright, so that means, um... We can take that off. We can come up here and we can send over the roast grub fruit. <clears throat> and it should go over automatically now because it's over here. So we'll just do that. So that they're sending food over. Cool. <clears throat> that needs to be deconstructed at some point. Looks like, oh, they built all of this. Wow, they really moved forward with stuff. <clears throat> cool. But we'll let... <coughs> Excuse me, we'll let them continue to do so. Um, let me see, we'll be eventually taking this wall out. That's right. Okay, so we could put those in. 
and then we could deconstruct. Well, not quite. We need to take care of some other stuff first. Alright. Cool. Um, let's check out our blueprints. Not yet. We'd have to, but we need a different bedroom before we can do anything. Of course, we could put people on alternate ship, but they still won't share a bed, so that wouldn't work. <clears throat> we would need a new bedroom, though. I mean, this would take a lot of power. We could build it, but I don't think it's needed right now. <laughs> Later. I know I'll probably get a comment on that. Of, well, why are you building it if you don't need it? <laughs> um, because we can. That's why. Alright, how'd you guys do over here? Oh, look at this. Good job. Um, excellent, excellent. So let's go ahead and continue this excellent building strategy. <clears throat> we'll get that. Uh, that. And then this. Right? That's all we need. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> You're still researching up there. We're good. We're almost ready to clear this out, so we can do that. And then we did work on this, which means that we can get some of the sulfur out of here. <clears throat> uh, we'll need to do... Actually, we only need that one. Okay, so we'll work on that when you guys get to it. There's a mafic rock there. And you'll be able to reach that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> means we can start on this as well um we're gonna come across the top so let's let's plan this we're gonna go through here there we go so we'll set that um, because then we'll be able to connect everything. Oh, we also need this. Must have had a plant here. So we'll set that as well. Alright, cool. Um, since we do have this, that means we'll be able to start digging out this. So that's good. And looks like we finished this ladder all the way. That's good. Um, we don't need that one. Yeah. We could take that out. Uh, we're going to be able to take this out here shortly. Um, don't need you there, but we will put in this so that in case we want to get up there. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, am I missing anything on this besides connecting it up? Of course. Um, does not look like it got this. We don't want it connected yet to here. We're going to fill up the tanks first, which means we just need the input, which is going to come from over here. Um, so that means we need to get this one going. Did we, do we not have a power wire? No, power wires down there. <laughs> that is already hooked up to go into here. 
so that it, we pull out the petroleum and then the polluted water will go this way. Okay, cool. Um, however, I am going to come over to Smironi and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disable this building for a little bit. Right, where's our next petroleum? Let's let's pull pull this petroleum out. Or I mean ethanol. <laughs> um actually we don't need that. Cool. To do to do, and then we'll need our power wire. If I'd hold down the shift key, I wouldn't have that happen. <laughs> do there, let's do deconstruct, deconstruct on those power wires. <clears throat> okay. So we'll go ahead and get that done. And we can continue over here. Hi, kitty. You gonna join us for a little bit? All right. Um, I think I'm good to come across all of this and just take that out. Uh, or, yeah, we'll be able to reach all of it. Okay, so we'll do that. Oh yeah, we did get this set in, so he can sleep well now. Um, and it doesn't affect the guy up here sleeping, so that's good. <clears throat> uh, we did drain this down, that's good. So we can do that, and that. And then we'll be able to start cutting that down. Alright, so that gives plenty there to do. Um, how about over here? We're working on all kinds of random stuff. So you guys are still doing this. That's fine. Uh, we can finally take out that. Did we send the roast grub fruit over? Not yet. Oh, I know why. Because we didn't stick this on manual use. Haha, <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> and you guys are finishing up the pipe. Perfect. Uh, we do have access to this, but we haven't built it yet. Uh, we want to get that in so we can get these, get one of these guys down here. Probably send a bunch of them down there. Um, and you're still digging that out, and you're still building this and digging that out. Okay. Cool. So. Not that we have to do a lot right there. We just kind of got to slowly power through things here. So that we are ready to go. We can do that. Let's do a quick check of everything. We're good. Everything's flowing. Nothing's backed up. Everything's flowing. Nothing is backed up. Cool. Cool. Um, and temperature-wise, it is, you could see it's slightly blue here and here now. So it is making a difference. Um, it's, these two are now the right temperature. Now it's these two that'll get down. And then, of course, when this thing gets going, we can kind of, oh, it is going. We'll be able to send a boost through the system. So we can do that. Um, for now, though, the only liquid coming in is just through this loop. Which I realize some of it's, you know, going in a circle here, but it's because we're we're going through this. Uh, what are we short on? We're short on iron. So, it's either we come down and mine some iron, which we could definitely do. Oh, 
but we also might want to we might we might just say let's make some iron how much do oh yeah we we can do that let's set this for 20 right now and then we'll get that going uh and i yeah and we're we've already made 10 of our glass cool good because we're probably going to put in some more uh solar just to help boost it boost things overall all right <clears throat> Other than that, um, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to deconstruct that. We're not using it anyways. Not really. Uh, let me see. We sent the grapefruit over. Awesome. Perfect. So that'll work now that we've got that inside. That'll sustain uh, the food over here. Every time there's a grapefruit, they'll just send it over here. So... Um, that was good. That was a good good suggestion. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. But that is why we have you here. To make comments and say, hey, you know, you could do that. And then I would go, oh, yes, you're right. That would make sense. Um, how's our temperature here? So, <laughs> we, we have cooled some of this down. You can see that, you know... We've lowered it quite a bit. So, I mean, that's good, but it's also spread, and it's been melting all of this, which which is okay as well. I just realized that we have this here. But we won't always be producing hydrogen. And we're going to produce natural gas from this. So that's the other thing I need to think about is a power system i know i originally put the hydrogen vent here um but we'll need a small power system and and thank you for reminding me i'm gonna have to have a dupe over here almost full time um until we get to a point that we decide we don't need the crude oil that's where well slicksters won't really produce enough crude oil even if I had a hundred of them sitting here in a giant room. So at some point, we may want to, like, not really build a big base, but just redesign this thing in an empty spot so that there's just a nice little base with a infinite toilet. And what I mean is a regular bathroom hooked up to um, a, a, a cleaner because they'll always produce more polluted water than they use clean water. It's a very small amount, but that could be also very helpful in sustaining what I need for my oil well. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Um, and then let's let's go ahead and de you know dig this out. Let's think about all right. If we're gonna have a permanent little base, if we're gonna have to have it, it doesn't make sense to have it up here. Do these things give off decor plus five. Yeah, not enough to make a difference of we have to build the base up here then this thing even though it's giving off decor we can so we'll, we'll lose some of these little things here that give off decor and whatnot but it might make better sense to just build a little base in between these yeah I think that would be the better call, which means we could put an insulated uh, tile through here as our flooring. And then a regular 
aisle. On top of it. And we could make a little base because we will move the power. And just do a little power thing. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Which means we could put a little power system here once we're ready. Um, which is also next to the cooling loop. Um, and this power input. Speaking of which. I got to remember we're going to bring in. Uh, we got to plan this. We need. Two things. We're going to cancel that one. And this one. Because what we're going to do. Is we're going to put. A joint plate in. Here and here. And we're going to make a small little room. Here. With temporary access. This will be a lock because we're going to have to put a pump here temporarily. See, I'm, I'm learning, right? Because this has been a comment in the past of something that I can do. Is that I can put this... Put a, um, a vacuum space here. And then all the heat transfer from here um, comes into the vacuum and there won't it won't cause issues. Right? Um, and then that means from a power perspective, we can just put in our... cabling and we can put in a power room as well so that will work very 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 well so we could do a power room we'll have a large transformer That we can sit right there. And then this will be where our power room comes into play. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so anyways, these guys got lots more to build, work on. We got that. We can take that out. We'll have to put it. We'll do a manual. We'll we'll just set this to where it's on, um, like a sweep only when we're ready. And we'll just sweep out this and sweep out this and sweep out this, um, and stuff. So that'll work. All right. Well, we're gonna pause there. I just realized we're over almost 30 minutes already. So sorry about that. I need to pay more attention to my timer that's on the screen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got some good plans here. We're moving forward uh, to get things set up and do what we need to do. So we will continue to drive that. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Take care.